It is given that the sum of the squares of the third and the thirteenth terms of an AP is five, and the product of the fourth and twelfth terms is R. Then you have to find the product of the third and thirteenth terms of that AP. So the first thing is to assume the first term to be A and the common difference to be D. So we have to open up these brackets over here, guys. We can use a plus b the whole square formula. So I'm doing it directly. So basically, we have to find the value of this expression. So you see, two parts are there in this thing. One is a square plus 14 ad, and the other thing is d square. So you see, this is the value of a square plus 14 ad over here, and this is the value of d square which we already have got, and we want the value of this expression over here. So here. It is given that the sum of the squares of the third and the thirteenth terms of an AP is five, and the product of the fourth and twelfth terms is R. Then you have to find the product of the third and thirteenth terms of that AP. So you see, this is an AP. We don't know its first term and the common difference. So the first thing is to assume the first term to be A and the common difference to be D. We are assuming that the first term is A and the common difference is D over here. Now, what is the first part of the question? The sum of the squares of the third and the thirteenth thir term is five. So the nth term of an AP is a plus n minus one into d. So the third term over here will be a plus three minus one into d, or you can say a plus two d over here. So it is given in the question that a plus two d the whole square plus it is given thirteenth term over here. So that will be a plus twelve d. So it is a plus twelve d. The whole square, and that is given to be equal to five in this question. So we have to open up these brackets over here, guys. We can use a plus b the whole square formula. So I'm doing it directly. So that will give you basically a square plus four d, four a d plus four d square. And if I open up this second bracket, we are going to get a square plus. Twenty-four AD plus one forty-four D square over here, and that is given to be equal to five. So if I further simplify this thing, I'm going to get two A square plus twenty-eight AD over here, and plus one forty-eight D square, and that is equal to five in this question. I hope this is clear. Now we can divide on both the sides of this equation by two. So we are going to get a square plus fourteen ad plus seventy four d square, and that is equal to five by two. Let's suppose that this is the first equation over here. Now, what about the second thing? It is given the product of the fourth and twelfth terms is r. Fourth and twelfth terms. So the fourth term will be a plus four minus one into d. So that is a plus three d over here. And the twelfth term will be a plus twelve minus one into d, so that is a plus eleven d, and that is equal to r over here. So let's open up the bracket over here. So we are going to get a square plus eleven d plus three d, so that is fourteen a d, not d it is, and that is thirty three d square over here, and that is equal to r. This is the second equation over here. I hope that is clear. Now we have to find the product of the third and thirteenth terms. So the third term will be what, guys? A plus two d over here, and the thirteenth terms will be what? Thirteenth term will be a plus twelve d over here. I hope this is clear. So we have to find this product. So let us open up this. So we are going to get a square plus twelve a d plus two a d. So that is fourteen a d over here plus. Twenty-four uh, d square. I hope this is clear. So basically, we have to find the value of this expression. So you see, two parts are there in this thing. One is a square plus fourteen a d, and the other thing is d square. And we already have got two equations over here. You see, we have got a square plus fourteen a d, a square plus fourteen a d, and d square in both of these equations. So basically, can't we treat these as linear equations in two variables? I mean, this is one variable a square plus 14 ad. We are just treating it, and d square is another variable over here. So, can I uh, subtract the second equation from the first equation? Basically, first equation minus second equation. Can we do that over here, guys? So, you see, a square plus 14 ad, a square plus 14 ad will be cancelled out, and we will get over here 
uh, we are going to get uh, 4 and we are go going to get 41 d square and that is equal to 5 by 2 minus r. I hope this thing is clear up till here, right? So basically from here we can find the value of d guys. So this will be d square if you further simplify you will get 5 minus 2 r divided by 82 over here. So d square is 5 square minus 2 r upon 82. So this thing we have got. So can we put d square is equal to suppose in this equation the second equation because it is looking simpler. I hope it is clear. So in the second equation I want to find the value of a square plus 14 ad from the second equation. From the second equation that is r minus 33 d square over here. So that is r minus 33 is over here and d square we have got to be equal to 5 minus 2 r. You see this is 5 minus 2 r upon 82 which we can further simplify guys what we are going to get over here if, if we are going to simplify. So this will give us you see this is 82 r and this will be 3 2s are 6, 3 2s are 6, 66. So we are going to get basically we are going to get 82 plus 66. So that is 148 right we are going to get 148 r over here 148 r minus 165 upon 82. So you see this is the value of a square plus 14 ad over here and this is the value of d square which we already have got and we want the value of this expression over here. So you see over here we can directly put the value of a square plus 14 ad which we have got over here and we can put the value of d square over here. I hope this is clear that is a simple substitution and after that you can do simplification. After that you will get the third option over here. So basically that is the answer to this question that the product of the third and thirteenth terms of this AP is 100 r minus 45 upon 82. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.